You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. On Thursday, October 5th, repair work for the Sookies Creek Bridge median began. Motorists are advised to not only be mindful of the construction workers on site, but also the dust and debris that may cause visibility issues. Mountaintop News spoke with Public Information Officer Shantana Woodward to learn more. The bridge, it just, it's needed some repair on the median. A lot of the times, uh, you know, the, the median is one of the things that gets busted up first. Uh, so it's got some cracks and, uh, and things. So. We're working on it. We're going to replace the concrete there on the median. Um, I want to tell people to be um, cautious because when we're working with concrete, there can be dust, concrete dust. And so when we're in there busting all that up, sawing it up, things, uh, there can be some visibility issues. So you want to make sure that you go slowly through there because sometimes when we are working with concrete, there can, can be dust particles. Other bridge repair and construction projects along US 23 are soon to follow once the median has been repaired. The transportation cabinet is planning to complete said projects by winter 2023. This is actually um, the first phase of some bridge um, repairs that we're doing all along US 23 in that area. We're going to start um, around Foggy Mountain uh, and come on down towards the Shelby Valley area. Uh, working on just medians, we're going to be replacing some box drains, clearing those out things. Uh, those are in the future. Um, we're hoping to get those done before the end of the year. So this is really just phase one. We're working on uh, the most needed item right now on that bridge on Sookie's Creek. But, um, you know, in the future, don't be surprised if you see some more lane closures and you see our guys out there working on drains and different things. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.